going on our softer sphincter cell here we have another unboxing once again we're doing a lot of these lately and this one's a little different because if you noticed i've been buying a lot of pistols and for the first time in a long time this is a rifle so i do own a lot of rifles even keeping up to date with the channel just got the first smg but i love my rifles gotta say so this one was on my list of guns to get you know how i had the bucket list in the past when i have a new bucket list with a few more nice guns on it and a lot of the new ones that have been coming out lately this gun's not super new i think i think it came out maybe two years ago i'm not really sure it was a gun i was pretty excited about because the real steel company i'm a big fan of and this gun in particular i thought looked great and a lot of people actually think it's kind of ugly but you know that is subjective and that looks like a non-original box i thought it was original it's got like something oh, okay well, it looks like it'll just come right out. There it is. Woo! Nice and heavy. It feels solid. It just feels really solid. I like that. A little carbine. So, of course, this is the Beretta ARX 160. It looks like the trademarks are ambidextrous. This is a nice rifle. This is, this is like carbine link assault rifle from Beretta. And, you know, of course, they make the M9 their most popular weapon. And I like the ARX because I was a fan of the, the Bellini M4, which is, you know, my first AG ever. And then the CX-4. And then, of course, they made this later, the ARX-160. So this is like their military rifle. This is the elite version of the ARX, which means it should have the electric blowback. But I'm pretty sure it's been disabled because, you know, nobody really likes that electric blowback. I'm pretty sure it's got the ambi release... Um, I don't know, this gun's got a lot of controls on it that I am not used to. You know, we're we're M4 guys. We got full pups. Well, I got full pups. Looks like it came with a uh, an RVG. What is that? A knockoff? An R instead of a. G? I'm not too sure. RVG. Looks. Well, this side says MOE, so it's a, it is a magical MOE. So it's got some kind of little cover, real cover. Um, and as far as like um, aftermarket stuff, that's about it. You got he had this since the sling mounts on this gun are just little things like that they're not um ready to go sling mounts um feature wise we have a folding stock um this gun is a full polymer build the wires are i believe hinge hidden like a vfc scar um fully licensed trades all over the gun the polymer feels good but it is um a little on the lower side than than some of the high-end ags that i bought and so the polymer's not like like a real gun it's almost there. I'd say it's like an ABS polymer. Um, yeah, you have the little stinky charging handle. It should switch to the other side. I think you. Uh, uh, there's a way to lock the bolt back. Um, I'm not sure where it is. The bolt release. Uh, so yeah, this gun's gonna take some getting used to. We got these horrible, horrendous. Um, what do you want to wait for the guy to finish making all that ruckus? Jeez. <laughs> Um, so it has the two flip-up sights, but like I've seen from before and this gun, you know, I've done my research. They are like like little dinky polymer sights that just look awful. It looks like it has quite a bit of uh, sights, but you know, there are quite a lot of them on there. At least six by the looks of it. But yeah, I'm not going to use these iron sights because... Hold on, actually, let me actually... Oh my goodness, those are terrible. <laughs> so I have backup sites, which we'll probably end up using on here. I brought the Replica EO Tech, so I already knew that from the beginning anyway. So this is the Elite version, which means it has the electric blowback. I'm pretty sure it's been disabled because most people disable that feature with these guns. Um, you know, it came with the grip. There is no rail underneath here, which is a little disappointing because um, I think the reel still has the ergonomic grenade launcher specifically for what's under here. Um, it has a quick change barrel, kind of like a Glock, where you want to pull down these two tabs and you can pull the whole outer barrel out. I'm not sure if I want to do that right away, but apparently that, it comes out nice and easy like that. So you have the hop-up and the inner barrel and all that. Now this is the CQB length barrel, outer barrel, because they make the, um, the cheaper version of this gun comes with the long, uh, I mean, the, the cheap version comes with the... on camera if you want to keep filming maybe uh, I I did. all right you know what you um so 
yeah, it has a quick change barrel. Um, we had a little problems getting it back in, but of course it's like that. And you can lift it. You can see that um, air nozzle. I'm not sure that's stock. I'm not sure if it's supposed to have an aluminum red one like that. But yeah, that's how you get the, the outer barrel in and out. See, this is the CQB one, which means he bought it aftermarket. The long barrel should, yeah. So there's the long barrel. Uh, it's got an inner barrel in it. it appears to be aluminum. That plane is super loud. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure that's aftermarket. Um, this gun should have a couple of bolt releases, I think. Okay, so that's one. Press up on it, and this also comes out. So I think these are also magazine releases, like they do both at the same time. It's a good looking mag for this gun. Um, so yeah, that's of course the max release, completely ambient on both sides, but then this should also be a max release. So you actually have three max release options. And the one on the bottom doubles as a bolt release. So a lot of um, weird features on this rifle. It it's, looks much different than most rifles I'm used to. A um, little ambient control there for semi and fully automatic. Um, the trigger pull feels pretty, uh, how do I describe this? Electrically, not mechanically. It feels, if you could just listen to the noise it'll make. It's really smooth, light trigger. It doesn't feel like how a real gun or a gas blowback, this feels like an electric gun, totally. Um, and then of course it has a retracting stock, which, I don't know, it's just not, not as good as the scar of course, but it reminds me of a scar -L. Another sling in the back. So yeah, basically that is the rifle. It's already got the black tip, looks like he painted it. Um, yeah, it's a very nice, um, decent looking, decent shape. Decently priced too. This gun costed me... Um, let's see, $160, so that was $150 plus $10 shipping, and I feel uh, it's good. It's got some aftermarket parts, which is too many to name, so I'll just list them on the screen for you to read off. Um, so it's not a stock gun, and it's black, of course, because theme of the channel. It is definitely a bulky rifle, like this ain't no M4. It's got some, some bulk to it. It's thick. It's a thick gun. People say it's like the fish gun, because it looks like a fish or something. F2000. But uh, yeah, it's comfortable. You got a lot of ways you can hold it. Tons of ways to hold this rifle to get really comfortable. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty much ready to shoot it. And this will be a new splinter cell build kind of thing. Not really, because I'm just gonna put a suppressor on it. And yeah, so it fits all my boxes. Looks and feels good. Little trademark there. You wanna just take a look at the trademarks. This is Germany, I guess Umerex licensed it from Germany because you know bread is Italian and yeah same on the other side guard on and real caliber all right so we're ready to put a battery in it goes in the stock and okay. yep all right so uh look at all these batteries I bought and not a single one of them worked our friend Force Thunder though look at this bad mamma jamma this is a humongous light bulb and that plane sounds like ass Alright, so the rifle. Of course we have the light bone there. This gun has some aftermarket internals and an upgraded motor. Like I said, I'll list that out for you. But uh, yeah, the internals are definitely not stock. I've already shot it. This is not stock. Let's try it out. Um, I do have zoom cam on there, so I'm just turn that baby on. And, and blinking means record, right? Yep. So there we go. Just blink it. Yep. Alright, you take on, rifle's good to go. And sorry we don't get to put the other end of the stock on there, but let's work with what we have. Alright. Too much reflection in my EO tag, so I'm just gonna wing it. Do you want to come around over the shoulder? Yep. All right. Not using my sights. Really good trigger response. Really smooth and really light trigger. Do you want to try to film that trigger pull? One second.
great trigger response. Um, let's see the pull itself is like mm, way in the back. It feels like an electric. How would I just, it's like an Aries gun. What are those called? Micro switch? I think so. It feels like it's got a micro switch in it, like an electric. So not like uh, still filming. Yep. Not like those um, trigger contacts. So I'll look at the internals when I get home, like like uh, what it's built with. Mm. And now you're getting feedback. Hope it likes these polymer mags because I, I use these all the time. All right. Try that. Pull out. Oh my goodness. This is actually like really, really nice. Oh my gosh. Dude. I'm gonna copy this gun's internals and put them in a different gun because that is nice. Like, like if you were standing down there during a the game and I just. I think you were standing down there during the game, and I came at you with this. Your ass is gonna die. I mean, like, there's no way, no if and or buts about it. Hop seems pretty good, from what I can see. Definitely gotta change it though. The hop? Yeah. Lower or higher? At the very end where the box is, it is curving like right above the, uh, like uh, as soon as you get there, it's curving up. We might want something like that for Fighter Town, you know, like, or should we lower it, honestly? Like, let's... Um, I guess that is less hop. I can't even touch it. It's, I can barely get my finger in there. Okay, we might have to do that later. Um, so the bolt release doubles as as the mag's release, so I gotta hold in the mag and then release it. Okay. Shoot towards the uh, green wall quickly. The what? Just the green wall. That's better on the hop up, definitely. Because before it was curving right, right. Uh. I barely touched the hop though. Oh, but, maybe it's yeah, just full it's, auto. I see what you mean. Yeah. Hmm. So if that was a person, like. True. They're getting hit, like no matter what. But yeah, I'll, I'll lower it for when we play. But yeah, I gotta say so far, you guys, whatever he did to the internals, I like that. Uh, I think he said there's like a Matrix 40k motor. I don't want to say the wrong thing. But whatever he did, um, seems to be working out pretty well. We have the zoom cam is still recording, so we'll be able to see how those shots look as they hit the target. But yeah, this thing is definitely dishing out rounds at, at quite a good speed. Um, full auto on this works perfectly great. So let's do a little walk and shoot, and I'll pretty much do it. You know, this is just my standard unboxings. Walk and shoot. I, I gotta say, it's kind of really comfortable to hold it like this. It's a big, fat feeling gun. You know, if you use an M4, this is like a fat gun. It's chunky, so let's walk and shoot. You're right about the hop. As we get closer, they go higher and higher. See, getting your finger in there is like damn near impossible. Let's grab that little tool real fast. Are you still recording? Yeah. Maybe it's because you gotta take the barrel out. Oof. I wonder if that's a thing. You think? Uh, I Maybe. Know if I take the barrel out. Uh, the way I'm shooting it may look awkward, that's just because of the stock and the fact that my EOTech is really, really reflective this angle. Like, all I can see is the patch in my hat and my EOTech. So. Those hopped a lot. Band full auto on this thing. Oh, that's it actually. Um, so yeah, what can I say? The Beretta ARX 160. This is um, 
Is Elite Force? Or Umarex? The Umarex and Elite Force, I think, oh, worked together, I think, on that one? Yeah, they worked together, but uh, I don't know who did the licensing. Who has... Yeah, Umarex owns Beretta Trademark Licensing, of course, because I have Umarex in mind. So, yeah, this is the Arx 160 Beretta Rifle. A lot of people say this is an ugly gun. A lot of people say this is the fish gun, and obviously, yeah, it kind of looks like a fish. A bloated, a bloated M4 fish gun. But, uh, what can I say? This gun, I was on my list because... You know, obviously, I just like it. I like the design. I like the shape. The ergonomics are really comfortable. It feels like a G36 a little bit in the, in the way it feels. Like a German gun, almost. And, of course, I'm in love with the way it shoots. The trigger response is really fast. The trigger is really, really fast as well. It's not like, like clunky maternal, like my L85 feels like a clunky trigger. This is smooth. Gun, really solid, honestly. The polymer could be a little more realistic, but you know, it's it's still good enough. You could drop this, throw it. And uh, yes, overall I, I recommend the rifle so far. Um, I'm not going to get to airsoft with it very soon, but uh, I have no plans for it besides the suppressor. It's the way I wanted it, so I was lucky enough to find it for only 160 bucks. Honestly pretty good because brand new, I don't know how much they are, 250, 200 max, 200 uh, above 200. And um, 160 good price to pay like I always say I recommend buying used because you know they work and pre-upgraded uh, pre parts sometimes you get aftermarket you know goodies so thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more which mag oh the plastic ones They're the gray ones I should say all right all right right yep oh yeah I see what you mean I like that trigger though. Yeah, it's quick. I'm gonna flip it off a lot of. Oh yeah, that's good. If you're where did that go? <laughs> if you're on the receiving end of that, you know, you're 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 screwed. Yeah, you're getting got. It's a good looking gun too. It sounds like it's not feeding right. Is it feeding right? Yeah, it came out a little. That was weird. I'm gonna try one more time with the same mag. It's just out of ammo, that's it. It's a little stuck up in there. If you can get the, the, the correct, you know, angle on it, dude, you're, you're, you're going to hit people. Yeah. Just tune the hop a little bit less, and it'll yeah. probably be good. Oh, no. Oh. Mechanical? Oh. Mm -hmm. Sounds good, too. Even the sound is good. Trigger's good. Sounds good. I don't good. know what's going on, but with these mags, it's not really doing mm. that well. Yeah. And once like you get towards the end of the mag. Yeah. That's... Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, go go for it. Send it. That fucking fed perfectly, dude. It's got steel uh steel teeth on the piston, so dude, that, that fed perfectly. Yeah.